What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the brand new Dio Dynamics uh, C2 Pro pods onto my Prince roof rack. As you guys can see them right here, they are on. And the cool thing about these actual lights is you can actually mount them anywhere. You can mount them like I did on a rack. Uh, you could put them for like chase lights. You can also put them for your ditch lights. They're actually really bright. Another cool thing about these Dio Dynamics uh, lights is they actually do have two modes. So they have kind of like a backlight mode, which is a lot lower, uh, beam and then they all they also have like the actual bright mode uh, which is what it's on right now so at the end of the video after we show you exactly how to install these and how i did it um, we'll go ahead and show you guys night clips and the purpose of actually having these on your roof rack especially if you guys do have an awning like me on this side uh, with where you're going to be mounting the lights it's going to be super crucial you guys will see why as i said at night so let's go ahead and now get into the video and i'll show you guys how it's done let's do it So the ones that we're going to be installing onto the Prince roof rack are going to be these ones right here which are the Diode Dynamics SSC2 Pros. These are their newer style lights. These are awesome because they are a lot smaller than the original type of uh, ditch lights or lights that you see. Um, but you could add these basically anywhere. You could add them on the Prince rack like I am today or you can put them as ditch lights and they're still super powerful. It's also recommended to go ahead and get their wiring harness which is right here. That's what I'm going to be installing as well. Tools and things that are going to help you out in this installation are going to be some zip ties, a clothes hanger that you've opened up like this, a metal one, and then of course a wrench and sockets and um, an Allen wrench as well. You're going to need that and it's also going to help out if you do have some black electrical tape. So that's basically it. It's going to be a super simple process to install these. Let's get into it. So in, inside the box, you're going to, of course, get two of these bad boys right here. As I said, you can put these anywhere. You can put them as chase lights, which I've put my amber ones as chase lights or ditch lights or wherever you want. They're super powerful. All right, so basically to set this up, it's going to be really easy and nothing too hard. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is uh, grab the bracket, which comes provided for each of the lights. And you want to go ahead and kind of find out which way is going to be the bottom and which way is going to be the top. The way you can tell what's the bottom is at the bottom it's going to have the D right here for diodynamics. And then flipping it to the back side you're going to notice it has the fins towards the top of the light. And then back at the bottom is where the bracket's going to be installed. So we're going to go ahead and kind of flip it over like this just so you guys see the back side. As far as for the bracket, um, you're just going to want to go ahead and install it like this. So you're going to notice uh, this piece back here is kind of pointing towards me. So basically like that. And that's going to be it. As far as for me, how I'm installing it in a different location, I'm going to leave it like that. But it's actually going to be installed something similar like this. Um, so it's going to be super easy. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get the biggest bolt that is provided. I'm going to slide it right through. This is the one that's basically going to be installed onto my Prince U roof rack. And then um, from there, it's going to be, once it's installed on the rack, the washer, and then the lock washer, and then it'll be the nut after that. Of course, we'll do that part until we get to the installation on the Prince U roof rack, but for now, we're just putting that bolt through there. And then you're going to get the skinnier, the skinnier bolt that's going to need the Allen key. Uh, we're just going to slide it right through just like that. Nothing hard about this. Just kind of feed it through. Once it's all the way through like that, you're going to want to go ahead and get the, the smallest nut, of course. And you're going to notice the white. That you want to make sure that's sticking outwards. So let's go ahead and kind of uh, tighten it down just by hand right now. You don't want to tighten it too hard because we are going to need to adjust it. You guys, so now that we have the hardware and kind of the bracket installed onto the light, I'm going to go ahead and show you where I'm going to be installing it. So of course there is two. So on the printer roof rack, you can tell there is like a little cutout right here. And there's another cutout right there. That's basically where I'm going to be installing these. If you guys do have a different type of roof rack, this will still work, but you might need to get a different type of bracket or adapter to actually install them. But it will be the same process. So the reason why I'm installing these lights on this side is because when I do go camping or anything like that, 
this right here is an awning so it opens up and sometimes I do have my campsite right here and uh, kind of put up chairs and stuff like that so by having this lighting set up it's actually going to light up this whole little section here and it's going to look really good at night that way we're not tripping over our chairs especially if we had a little bit too much to drink so let's go ahead and now show you how to install these it's going to be super simple let's do it the reason why I said to leave the bracket loose like this is because when we do go to install it you do got to account for it the wiring harness is going to be connected it here so you don't want to kind of uh, adjust it right now because you don't know how much uh, the wiring harness is going to be in the back and you don't want it to be all kind of misaligned and all that so basically I'm leaving it kind of uh, dangling like this and then the bigger bolt is already put through which came provided and that's what's going to go through that hole just like that so I do want to give a big shout out to Prince your roof rack I do weigh a lot and it's actually holding my weight and I've done this many times so anyways let's go ahead and now get to the install process so in my hand I have the washer the lock washer and the nut so on the back side over here now that the kind of light is a little bit mounted I'm gonna first put just the washer the regular washer after that you want to go ahead and put the lock washer once you've done that you want to go ahead and put the nut so in this section here you just kind of want to tighten it down by hand don't tighten it down all the way just yet uh, the reason why same thing you don't know how fat the wiring harness is gonna be on the light so you don't want to tighten it too hard where you can't kind of maneuver it so I should have it kind of tight in there. It shouldn't fall. Let's see, let it go. So it's not gonna fall there. Um, so up next, I'm gonna go ahead and now do the other one on the front side, uh, same exact process. And then uh, we'll get to the wiring and then we'll tighten everything down. We're gonna be doing the same process. So looking at the back, let's go ahead and put the bracket on there. Same thing as the first one. Right, you guys, so in this next step here, you want to go ahead and get your wiring harness that was provided, of course. Um, you're going to notice on one end, you're going to have uh, two connections, which these two are going to be the ones that actually connect into the light. So what I'd recommend is probably just unwinding it all the way. You're going to want to go ahead and kind of feed it through underneath the Prince your roof rack. So I'm feeding it from the front and it's going to go all the way underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this first one right here. I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see that one, but I'll show you with the one in the back, what I'm doing. But the reason why I'm doing this is because that way the wire isn't exposed through the top end of the rack. So it'll be kind of nice and hidden. So I'm just gonna kind of keep feeding it through from underneath, just like that. So this one's already connected, the one in the front. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect this one on the rear. So this is basically going to be really easy because it only goes in one way into the light. So you're going to notice it does have like this little clip section here. And on the light, it has like the cutout right here at the bottom. So those two go together and you just kind of push it in and it snaps right in. Once you've heard the click, that means you're good to go. So from there, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is get some zip ties. And basically what we're going to be using the zip ties for is just kind of zip tying it to the actual rack so that way you don't have wires hanging everywhere all along um, the way so up next we're going to be tightening down the bracket onto the actual printer roof rack for this you want to go ahead and get a size 13 millimeter socket or wrench so let's go ahead and tighten this down now and that up next you want to go ahead and now get your allen wrench for this section here i honestly don't know the size so i can't tell you but you just want to go ahead and pick out the one that's going to actually fit onto the bolt so that way the light kind of stays up versus it just falling down all the time so now that i've uh, screwed everything down this nut uh, the allen wrench uh, nut on this side and then of course the nut that's over here holding it onto the prince you same thing for this one here now all we really have to do is just kind of run the lines and zip tie them along the way that way it's nice and clean That I've zip tied it as you can tell it's just nice and clean so that way when we're on the off the truck uh, you won't be able to see any wiring or anything like that so up next we're gonna run it through underneath the print suit like that so as you can tell now they're mounted they're kind of uh, somewhat wired up they're zip tied to the actual print suit rack, so rack so it looks nice and clean as you can tell I can't wait to show you guys these at night it's gonna be super bright it's gonna look really good once we're done hiding those wires there we're gonna try to run it through um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to this point here which you're gonna notice it has a fuse uh, the red which is the positive black which is negative and a relay um, we're gonna connect those to the battery on this opposite side over here there is a connection here and here is the switch so we're gonna disconnect this 
just like that. This is where the close uh, hanger, the metal one, is going to come in handy. We're going to wrap it around this. And basically what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of run it through. There's a grommet in here, which I'll show you guys. And we're going to run it through the firewall into the actual uh, cab of the truck. Of course, it's not going to be 100% uh, covered. But as you can tell, it's somewhat now uh, nice and discreet. It's coming down through here. Um, all I've done is zip tied both the wires together just so it kind of stays in place together. Um, I've opened this uh, little panel up here so that way the wires go underneath and now the wiring is coming underneath here notice I've um, opened this up right here put the wiring through and now we're here in this section so basically all I got to do is now put the relay somewhere all right, so I'm gonna put the relay right here next to this relay so we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt which takes a size 10 and I know Cali Rays makes some um, some relay holders so if you don't want it to look kind of tacky like this uh, you could always get one of their relay holders uh, they work really well the both relays are nice and secure up next what I have to do is of course just now run these two wires which this is the negative and the red one is the positive my negatives I always run them right here um, this is also a size 10 so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt there and put the negative first now open this up here we're gonna go ahead and open this up up here if you're gonna be putting it right there it's gonna be a size 12 um, socket so of course I'm using a box wrench so I'll open that up just a little bit go ahead and now tighten this back down so of course uh, now that I've uh, wired it up uh, kind of connected everything as you can tell it still looks pretty clean but I am getting to that point where I do need to buy a switch pros uh, that way I kind of remove all these fuses and stuff but besides the point let's go ahead and keep going if you guys do remember there was a big chunk of wiring here all I did was remove this it removes really easily kind of push it up and I pushed in the wires right there put this panel back and now it looks clean so all we have left of course is this wire here which this is what's going to go connected um, inside so we can wire up the switch I've taped up the close hanger to the actual wiring harness as you can tell now looking over here if you want to come in a little bit closer you're gonna notice I've already ran some wires through there there is a small uh, cut into that rubber boot right there where I can go ahead and put this wire hanger through and it should uh, easily go right through it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so I'm gonna feed it and it helps out if you do have um, someone in the inside of the cab so they can see when it actually uh, goes through. So as you can tell, everything is now connected, wired up. Um, I've now ran it through the firewall so everything looks nice and clean in here. Let me go ahead and show you from the inside of the truck. So looking right here, you're going to notice, of course, the wire came through here. And here it is. And of course, this is where we connected it to uh, the actual clothes hanger. So from here, now we're just going to go ahead and unwind this and kind of pick a spot where we're going to put the switch. Um, as you can tell, I have one switch already kind of dangling here. I'm probably going to put the next switch just dangling right there as well until I actually get a switch pros. So I'm going to go ahead and now kind of run the wire, connect them. That way we can test it out and see how it looks once it gets nighttime, of course, outside. So I'm going to kind of just feed it through here. We're going to go ahead and now connect them. Super simple. Now all I got to do is just kind of zip tie this hang it up somewhere so it's not dangling like this the switch and check them out and then right now we'll see them at nighttime damn that's bright <laughs> oh that's cool so they have two uh they have two modes that's cool so now imagine it right now there is a light right there of course on but imagine this off-road where there's like literally in the middle of nowhere where it's pitch black these things are going to be crazy bright especially if you can see them right now i mean it's really lighting it up it looks good it looks great check this out i mean it's pretty much like daytime and looking at straight at them you can't really see it really hurts your eyes but basically there it is so you guys can tell damn sick all right you guys so now that it is nighttime i'm going to go ahead and show you how bright these things really are if you guys do also have an awning it's awesome for camping because you can go ahead and open it up and just kind of light up your campsite that's basically what i'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now so right now i do have a light in front of me but i'm going to go ahead and turn it off so i can turn these lights on and show you how bright this really is let me go ahead and do that for you guys right now so as you can tell, when these things are on, it basically lights up your whole little campsite, you know, so that way if you guys are eating or anything like that, you sometimes do need light to actually see your food out in, you know, in the open where there's nothing. Um, so this is really going to help out. And of course, if I did have the awning open, it'll kind of reflect the light a little bit more down. But overall, I mean, it's 
pretty widespread. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. Of course, cameras never really do justice, but basically this is it. I'm gonna go ahead and now show you guys the low mode, which is kind of just the backlight. Um, that's not really anything, uh, as you can tell. It's really low. It's just kind of showing, you know, that there's a light there. But this is my favorite mode right here, basically when they're fully on. So if you guys did like today's video and you guys do want to go ahead and purchase these, they're going to be in the description box below. And if you guys did like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.